Paleoanthropology is the study of human origins. And when we study human origins, we look at both hominids, or the great apes and the humans, and uh, or hominoids, and hominids, which are the bipedal uh, humans and their close ancestors. It's a common misconception that humans are the ancestors of chimpanzees. There may be some common ancestor back much further in this uh, hominoid group, but uh, humans are not ancestors of uh, chimpanzees or gorillas. Um, we very likely are ancestors of Australopithecines, although we don't know for sure. Um, these are all extinct, but their oldest skeletons uh, go back at least 3.5 million years. And Lucy is probably one of the most famous skeletons. Um, it was the, one of the first ones discovered. There are actually hundreds of Lucy skeletons that have been discovered since uh, those times. And then the genus Homo, which are all extinct except for Homo sapiens, modern humans. This is a, a timeline of human evolution, and if we um, look at the bars here, the bars each represent the relative time spans that these were uh, on the planet, and we can see that uh, the Lucy uh, ancestors were on the planet for a million years or more, um, and then we have these other Australopithecines that you know, were related in one way or another. I, I, I don't have a branching tree on here because we don't really know exactly how many side branches were went extinct and the exact connections that might take place here. We do know that these are very distinct uh, skeletons and species. Uh, we believe they're different, uh, different creatures, different types of uh, hominids. And then Homo habilis is uh, contemporary with these Australopithecines. And Homo habilis was different in that Homo habilis was a, a little different sized um, and they made tools. So um, handyman is sometimes the common name that's given uh, to this particular creature. Um, Homo erectus was also contemporary with Homo habilis and Homo erectus is a, a, a little larger bodied, larger brained, uh, more anatomically human face, um, modern human face. And Homo erectus uh, it, it's thought that they may have even uh, been uh, contemporaries with modern humans and uh, Neanderthals and Florensises. We don't really know exactly uh, when their line uh, died out, but we do know that it's very, very close to when we have these other uh, lines here. Uh, one of the ideas is that Homo erectus actually is the ancestor of modern humans and that regional variations of Homo erectus eventually led to the different um, Homo floretus, Neanderthalensis, and Homo sapiens. Um, Homo habilis existed 1.5 to 2.5 million years ago, um, and one of the ideas surrounding Homo habilis and all of the, uh, the uh, early hominids is that evolution didn't take place uh, in any type of linear fashion. There were a number of different characteristics that evolved in different places at different times. Uh, one example that's uh, commonly referred to is the fact that uh, they were bipedal, they were walking upright before they actually acquired larger brains. And so um, before they acquired intelligence, they were walking around upright, upright so it didn't come the other way around. Homo erectus is thought to be the ancestors of our modern uh, humans. They had larger brains, more human-like faces. They lived 1.6 million to 300,000 years ago, approximately. And they had, uh, they dispersed out of Africa. This is the first group that actually left Africa and spread out across uh, Europe, Asia, Australasia. <clears throat> and there were uh, many regional variations in these different uh, Homo erectus uh, groups. They, they wore skins, they made clothing, they moved into colder climates, they lived in caves, they hunted larger animals. Uh, one idea is that they uh, moved out of Africa and in pursuit of the larger game. Um, usually a predatory creature has to have more territory than a vegetarian creature to survive. And so this is one of the ideas about why Homo erectus may have spread out of uh, 
Africa. Um, Homo neanderthalensis is thought to uh, perhaps be a variation of these uh, Homo erectus that lived in Europe in the Middle East. And again, the last of these died out about 35,000 years ago, which would have been uh, contemporary with modern human beings, which were in the region. Um, Homo florensis lived about 95,000 to um, 17,000 years ago, and their um, skeletons have been discovered on the island of Flora in Indonesia. This has been a fairly recent discovery, only the past um, decade or so. Um, and, and this kind of leads to these um, other ideas about um, the origin of human beings. And one idea is that uh, they, modern humans are originated in many locations uh, in Asia, Europe, and uh, Australasia. And so there's uh, a multi-regional um, hypothesis or multi-genesis. In other words, modern humans evolved in many different locations. And this was all from some uh, Homo erectus ancestor and the regional variations that led to these uh, modern human beings. On the island of Florence, um, I have to mention that the humans that have been discovered there were extremely small. They were three feet tall. They've been labeled um, the hobbit uh, species, hobbit human species. And one of the things that's interesting about this is that uh, you can look at human beings uh, being subject to the same laws of evolution, island uh, evolution that all the other creatures are, and that is that uh, you see something called island dwarfism, where large creatures tend to get small on islands, and the reason for this is because there's less food supply, the smaller ones have a more likely a chance of surviving, and then you'll also see the opposite. Things that are smaller than a chicken tend to get bigger, and so you'll end up seeing um, small creatures that get to islands end up being larger because there is less competition, there are fewer predators, um, and so you end up with gigantic tortoises on, you know, many oceanic islands. But the mammals and um, other larger bodied creatures tend to shrink. And so this is uh, an interesting example of where these uh, hominids that got to this island actually uh, evolved to be very, very, very small. Um, the monogenesis hypothesis is that uh, all modern humans actually came out of Africa, and this occurred about 100,000 years ago. They may have evolved earlier in Africa, but they didn't leave Africa until about 100,000 years ago. So there's two different ideas about um, the origin of modern humans. Um, Homo sapiens are also referred to as Cro-Magnums because some of their first skeletons were discovered in some caves in France. Um, they originated 100,000 or came out of Africa 100,000 to 400,000 years ago, depending upon which hypothesis we look at. And one of the things that really distinguishes them uh, tremendously is cultural evolution, and that is language and the ability to pass on information from uh, one generation to the next. And if we go back 100,000 years, um, anatomically these humans were the same as us, but they were making stone tools. Well, today the, these same features that we have allow us to make microchips and go to the moon. Um, we really don't have uh, anything uh, anatomically different, but that cultural change, somehow that language, um, that art, some, somewhere along the line, this made a big difference. And we don't, that's not preserved in the fossil record. It's really hard to know um, exactly what happened there. So if we, if we look at some diagrams, simple diagrams of what these two hypotheses might look like, um, the multi-regional hypothesis says that uh, <clears throat> we have Homo erectus in Africa and somewhere uh, along the line Homo erectus leaves Africa and they spread out across the, the globe, short of uh, North and South America. And this interbreeding that was going on between the populations kind of allowed for whatever type of variation that was developing uh, that would eventually become modern human to uh, be able to arise in multiple locations in Europe and Asia and Australasia. Um, the other hypothesis is the monogenesis hypothesis, and this is that um, Homo erectus was in Africa and then all other lines kind of uh, 
branches of the tree bush died out. Um, but Homo sapiens finally around 100,000 years ago left Africa. And from there they moved on to all these other parts of the world and eventually into North and South America. 10, 20,000 years ago they crossed Beringia during the last ice age. Now, the monogenesis hypothesis is probably the more contemporary view. And the reason for that is, is because we've been able to apply new evidence besides the fossil record and that is using uh, DNA evidence and look, tracing the genetic origins of human populations. And based on that, we, we know that the most genetically diverse human populations on the planet are in Africa, and there's a very good indication that uh, you know, a Africa was the origin of modern human beings. If we are looking for the origins of human beings, modern humans, the evidence all points to Africa. Uh, the fossil record is there. Uh, the molecular record is there. Uh, we don't have any evidence to suggest anything else.